So here's an interesting story that popped up on my radar yesterday. Uh, this is from Howie Hawkins. That's this guy here. He's uh, currently the Green Party candidate. And he said the following. To Jack Dorsey, CEO of Twitter. On Wednesday, April 15th, Twitter suspended the presidential campaign account of Green Party 2020 presidential candidate Howie Hawkins without warning. Only a notification from Twitter after the fact that the account had been suspended for impersonation. An appeal from the campaign was rejected with no reason given, despite the fact that Howie Hawkins is a campaign account overseen by Howie Hawkins himself and that many other politicians are allowed to have more than one account without interference from Twitter. The decision by Twitter to suspend Howie Hawkins' presidential uh, campaign account with no justification beyond a nonsensical charge of impersonation is extremely troubling in a country that is supposed to stand for values of free speech and open debate. We ask that Twitter uh, immediately reinstate and verify Howie Hawkins' presidential campaign account and cease all efforts to stifle the free speech of, of the Hawkins campaign, particularly for the remainder of the 2020 presidential election. Okay, so I, uh, I have to admit, I haven't read up too much on this Howie Hawkins guy, so I cannot give you any kind of substantive breakdown of what his policies are. Um, I will tell you that it's almost certainly the case that I that I agree with him way more than I agree with Biden or Trump. Um, but I still haven't, you know, read through his platform, see where he's at. Um, so I won't comment on whether or not he's a candidate worth supporting. You know, you guys could figure that all out on your own if you'd like. But the reason I'm doing this segment is very simple. Isn't that interesting? The Green Party candidate gets his Twitter pulled. Now, we all know it's a common corporate Democrat talking point that the reason why Hillary lost in 2016 was Jill Stein, because she took just enough votes in all those Rust Belt states. Well, the fact of the matter is they actually did detailed polling of the people who voted for Jill Stein, and it was really low. The number was, I, I forget the exact number, so don't quote me on this, but it was somewhere around like 20% of the people who voted for Jill Stein said, yes, if I wasn't voting for Jill Stein, I would vote for Hillary. So in other words, 80% of people, or roughly 80%, were, were split between I would just stay at home, or I would vote for Gary Johnson, or I would vote for Trump. So for them to just assume like, oh, all the Green Party people would go to Hillary if Jill wasn't in, that's not true. So it's not Jill Stein's fault that... Um, Hillary lost. And also, by the way, we live in a free country and you should be able to vote for whoever the hell you want to vote for. And that's the end of the conversation. So, you know, I'm not going to comment on Howie Hawkins uh, platform policies, candidacy, whatever. But what I will say is perhaps it's not a coincidence that the Green Party got blamed in 2016 for Trump winning. And now it could be that Twitter and, you know, they, they got a bunch of friends in the Democratic Party that they were like, let's try to avoid that happening again. And so I'm going to pull down the Green Party candidate and hope that he gets no traction whatsoever. Now, I have no evidence of that. And it's just a theory. I want to let everybody know up front. This is not anything that's proven on, on my part. But um, I'm just saying it's a possibility that this wasn't just an accident. Whoops, we happened to pull the Green Party candidate. It very well could have been pull the Green Party candidate because we want to suppress them on purpose because we don't want them gaining any traction because we want them to get as few votes as possible because we will blame them if the Democrat loses. So that's definitely possible. So anyway, what I'm here to do is to tell Jack, reinstate this guy. You know this is nonsense. You know this makes no sense. If you guys are watching this now, you know, do me a favor, tweet at Jack, say the same thing, or tweet at Twitter support, whoever. But let's get, let's be involved in this here because this is not right and we know that this is not right and this guy shouldn't have got his Twitter account pulled regardless of what you think of him, agree with him, disagree with him, whatever it may be. Um, and the final thing I'll say is this. Big news broke last night where apparently Jesse Ventura sent a letter to the Green Party potentially asking, hey, could I run as the Green Party candidate? So it's very possible. Now he's denying that he said it exactly like that, so I don't know, but it's possible that Jesse Ventura hops in the race and runs either as a Green Party candidate or maybe an independent. He's at the very least thinking about it. And so that will be fascinating if he runs because he he's already a celebrity and he's already well-known. And you can't, like a guy like Howie Hawkins, with all due respect to Howie Hawkins, he's not really known. So if he's not there, nobody it, it's not going to register for most people. 
But Jesse Ventura, if he announces he's running, there's headlines everywhere that he's running. And um, I've already seen people like <laughs> preemptively blaming Jesse for if Trump gets a second term. These people never give it a rest, man. They never give it a rest. It's always everybody else's fault. <laughs> but anyway, so he might run. That would be fascinating if he runs. I'm very interested to see what he does. And obviously, I'll keep you updated on that as well. But for now, Howie Hawkins, get this guy his Twitter account.